This is Sylvia Saber with OPTV Global Headlines. Starting with the top international stories for the day. Former President Donald Trump has privately criticized the 13 Republicans who voted to pass the $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill. Mr. Trump questioned why they would give President Joe Biden a win when he's struggling in the polls. A U.S. judge has ruled a congressional committee investigating the Capitol right can access some of ex-President Donald Trump's White House records. Mr. Trump had argued the materials were covered by executive privilege, which protects the confidentiality of some White House communications. Poverty rate in the Gaza Strip has risen to 59% from 43%. The World Bank said that unemployment in the Gaza Strip stood at 45%. Israeli police have arrested 65 Israeli Arabs on suspicion of illegal arms. The suspects were primarily from northern Israel, but also from the occupied West Bank and East Jerusalem. The United Kingdom has added Sinovac, Sinopharm and Covaxin to the fully vaccinated list for inward travel rules. The UK has announced to accept passengers from Pakistan who have received doses of Chinese COVID-19 vaccination. A new Chinese aircraft carrier with technology nearly equaling the capabilities of its U.S. counterparts could be launched soon. The ship Type 003 will be China's third aircraft carrier and its second to be domestically produced. Abu Dhabi has been officially designated as a city of music by the UNESCO Creative City New Network. It is also to promote cooperation among cities which recognize creativity as a major factor in their sustainable urban development plans. Up next, we have the national updates. Chief of the Army Staff General Kamar Javed Bajwa has said that he's proud of achieving self-reliance in defense production. The Army Chief visited Heavy Industries Taxila where he was briefed about HIT capabilities. Prime Minister Imran Khan sees moral decline is one of the major causes of country's economic degradation. He urges government servants to uphold morality in discharge of official responsibilities. The Supreme Court of Pakistan has summoned Prime Minister Imran Khan today in the Army Public School massacre case. The top court remarked that APS attack was facilitated from inside the school as it is impossible for the terrorists to storm the institution without any help. Pakistan is now among one of the first few countries to meet the international bond challenge. Pakistan is honored after over 600,000 hectares of land were restored into forests and a billion trees were planted in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province. The Pakistan People's Party has urged the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz to seize its alleged backdoor communication with the establishment. Senior PPP leader Kamar Zaman Kera asked former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif to first bring his whole party on one page. Nobel laureate Malala Yousafzai has tied the knot during a small ceremony in Birmingham. The 24-year-old expressed her excitement by posting few photos from the nikah ceremony with her husband Asar Malik. Advisor to Prime Minister on Finance and Revenue Shokat Tareen has urged the sugar mills to start production of sugar at the earliest. Shokat Tareen said that the government is working hard to reduce the rates of food items. Up next we have the health updates. Eating fat can lower stroke risk as long as it's the right kind. Eating plant-based fats lowers stroke risk according to the Harvard's T.H. Chan School of Public Health Study. Eating plant-based fats can lower the cholesterol level and also lowers stroke risk. Up next, we have the updates on science and technology. The world is still nowhere near its goals on limiting global temperature rise. A new analysis calculates that the world is heading for 2.4 degrees centigrade of warming, which is far more than 1.5 degrees centigrade limit nations committed to. United States trading app Robinhood has been hit by a security breach that has exposed the names or email addresses of more than 7 million people. Robinhood said it had rejected a demand for payment and reported the attack. Up next, we have the sports updates. Pakistan's explosive middle-order batter Asif Ali has been voted as the ICC's October's Player of the Month. The award is given for his outstanding performances in the ongoing T20 World Cup. England Cricket Board Chief Executive Tom Harrison has met Chairman Pakistan Cricket Board Ramiz Raja, arrived in Lahore. Now England will play two additional T20 internationals where they will tour Pakistan in September and October 2022. Rohit Sharma has been named the new captain of India's T20 side, replacing Virat Kohli. Meanwhile, former battling legend Rahul Dravid is replacing Ravi Shastri as coach for all formats following the World Cup. Up next, we have the entertainment updates. 
Pakistani actor Sajal Lili and Bilal Abbas Khan's Khel Khel May is all ready for a theatrical release this month. The movie is narrated from the perspective of college students who dive deep into the myths around the separation of East Pakistan. Spider-Man Potential Leak reveals that multiple actors that have played the superhero may be sharing the big screen. The leak revealed actors Andrew Garfield, Tobey Maguire and Tom Holland sharing the frame. Hollywood star Leonardo DiCaprio would play American cult leader Jim Jones in an upcoming MGM film. The Oscar-winning actor also stars in celebrity director Martin Scorsese's upcoming movie Killers of the Flower Moon. Farhan Akhtar's next road trip flick Chile Zara is set to feature a special cameo from his hit Zindagi Na Milegi Dubara. Among Katrina Kaif, Alia Bhatt and Priyanka Chopra, Rithik Roshan, Abe Deol and Farhan himself will also be a part of the upcoming film. Up next we have the business updates. Oil rose towards $84 a barrel on gaining for the third session. Brent crude rose $0.31 to $83.74 a barrel. As the U.S. lifting of travel restrictions and more signals of a global post-pandemic recovery lifted the demand outlook while supply remained tight. The United States dollar continued its upward trend against the Pakistani rupee in the interbank currency market. The greenback is trading at Rs 171.65 after appreciating by Rs 1.34 in early trade.